Hello everyone, welcome to my second attempt at trying at a Transformers review series. And this one I'll be calling it Transformers Show Off. Or Transformers Ramble, I don't know, you decide. Um, and I decided, uh, first we'll look at is what I've done with my Siege, Netflix Red Alert, and my Siege Sideswipe. So, I don't like how people bag out Siege. I don't respect it, because Siege is great. Let's admit, Siege is great. They gave us amazing molds of characters. And they've easily done what I would respect the most. When it comes to adaptating classic things, I'd say. Like, what I, what I, um... Fuck. What I respect the most out of ad adaptating classic things is... Respecting the original while giving it a new spin. Stylizing it. Giving it a go. Giving something new a try. To switch it up every now and then from people who are, I want G1 to come back. It never left. It's always been here. Just different versions of it. Now, that being said, that's why I don't like people bagging out Siege. Because they focus too much on the battle damage, too much on the, too much on the space modes, which honestly only worked out for Starscream and no one else. But that's okay, because, of course, these aren't the original Lambos, okay? They're not the original Lambos, but that's okay. Because they're still Lambo-esque designs. Or are they Ferraris? Fuck, I can't remember. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, they do their job, they're, they're, they're sports cars, but with a spacey kind of vibe, with cool designs. And, hey, that's what I'm up for. I don't care if it's a real car, if it's a fake car, I don't care. As long as they're great adaptations of the characters, that's, I'm happy. So that being said, what have these guys done? What have I done to these guys? Well... I'm going to start with the Sideswipe. Easy job. I just took the Siege Sideswipe, Bare Bones, Siege Sideswipe, and I gave him that uh, one upgrade kit we all know and love. And I know that white isn't the right white of the kind of beigey, soapy color white, but, you know, I'm more than happy with that. It's fine. And hey, I didn't have to, <laughs> I didn't have to pay for a two-pack with a character I don't want, okay? I'll take this over that any day. So that's simple. That's that basically covered. It's, it's side swipe with the, uh, it's just a simple upgrade kit. Now, what have I done here with Red Alert? It's a bit more complicated. I didn't get the normal Siege one. I got the Netflix one because I don't like buying two of the same mold a lot. I don't like buying two of the same mold because I don't want it to feel like the same character again. So what I like to do is I like to buy, like, you know, there's the... the Different molds that are inspired by others, but I like to get different characters of each. Like, here's a good example. I'll grab them right now. Uh, Earthrise Starscream and Siege Thundercracker. And no, those aren't the only Seekers I had because they were the only ones at retail. I'm saying that. I'm saying this because that's the truth. I got the Earthrise Starscream before I got Thundercracker. And I did that because... Well, I didn't want to buy Starscream again. After I got the um, Earthrise Starscream, I thought, oh, I want to experience the Siege mold because I feel like I missed out a little bit. But I didn't want to buy Starscream again. And so I thought Thunder I bought Thundercracker instead because I get to experience the mold, but not only as a mold, but as a separate character. Yeah, th this background doesn't really work with Voyages. I'm, st I'm still working on that. I bought the Netflix version of Red Alert because it was more different than the Siege uh, Sideswipe. Just a little bit more battle damage and... Look, I get people don't like the battle damage, but if you're going to do battle damage, go for the Netflix line. The stuff that they do with the Siege line is a bit, uh, a bit abysmal, honestly. You know, that's, that's all you get for battle damage. But on the Netflix one, you got a bit of darkening here. You got some scuffing down here. You got those two patches down here. Looks like he's seen some work. And I like that. I like the stylization, but... It's stylized, but you know that's Red Alert. Fuck, I've lost my train of thought again. So what have I done with the uh, Netflix Red Alert? Well, what it did was, I, you can easily tell, I swapped over their shoulder launcher, rocket launcher, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I swapped side swipes over to him because he's more accurate colors. And I gave him that upgrade kit because, again, more accurate colors. For the G1 activists out there, make him happy. Nah, I just did it because it looks a bit better. <laughs> so, but when I did that, I realized that the tip wasn't the right red. 
it was it was a bit of a bright red, and I thought, oh, okay, you know, you win some, you lose some. It's like how you know, this white's a bit of a different color, so that's okay. But I was fiddling around, I was fiddling around one day, and I was fiddling around with the rock logo, and then I realized that tip looks a bit familiar, and then I thought, hang on, that's that's the same as this bit from six six gun. It's that bit. It's the same piece, but just it's a different attachment. You see, with um. On this, it's a bit shorter at the back to connect it to the uh, gun. So what have I done with the original color? Well, I gave it to my Alita 1. As you can see right here, I gave it to her. Give her, throw a bone because, what, the shit they packaged it with. And a clear, tiny little clear plastic pistol. You already gave her, like, huge thighs, huge hips, and huge boobs. And, Jesus, throw her a bone. <laughs> we're gonna make her as girly as possible or we're gonna make her a badass so that's what I did I gave her six guns rifle and I gave that I gave her the colored uh, miscolored pistol that matches her very conveniently and six gun he doesn't have one of his guns and that's okay they're still around they're just someone else is holding them you know what while we're on it while we're on the topic of a leader and uh Female robot body types. I gotta say, I could live without the boobs in the butt. You know, well, never thought I'd say that. I could, I can't live without the boobs in the butt. But in, in robots, I can because this is um, I think it's a bit unneeded. You don't really need it when this is the male body type. I'm sure you could feminize this a little bit, <laughs> just not give it this. This is like borderline supermodel body. And that's why, that's why I like Titans Return, uh, Nautica, and Strongarm so much. Because they don't follow this trend. They're bulky robots, but you can tell they're girls. Not only by, you know, their voice, but also their body. So, again, this is unneeded, but I'm not complaining that it's there. I just... If they did what Strongarm is doing, great. If they didn't, I don't care. I did, uh... I did do a bit of uh, social studies at school, can't you tell? So that's what I did for uh, Netflix Red Alert. I gave him the rocket launcher from Sideswipe, but I changed up the nub thanks to Six Gun. And I did all this just from stuff I had laying around. Hell, I made this fucking studio, this background, this filming right here, I did that with stuff laying around. And I'm really happy about that because I didn't have to jump through any hoops, flaming hoops that'll flat burn a hole in my wallet just so I could have something that the media, or the most of fans enjoy. I didn't have to get the Walgreens exclusive of the Earthrise. I didn't have to get the Kingdom 2 pack. Wait, no, the Earthrise... No, it was a Kingdom. Red Alert, that was it. Walgreens exclusive. Shit! Basically what I'm saying is, I could live without the extra stuff, as long as I have these ones, and enjoy the toys that I have. Because... I'd rather have fun with something that I want to have fun with than with someone than something that everyone else has fun with. So that being said, when it, uh, a bit of an ending note, honestly, let's do an ending note. Yeah. So if you want to, if you want to do Transformers, do it the way you want to do it. If you enjoy the Michael Bay Transformers, go with that if that's your thing. If you enjoy the fucking Alternators, I don't care. Go for it. That's your. That's how you have fun. We already have we already have enough suffering in the world. So we should have fun and not expect a, just a reason to have fun. We just have fun because we have fun. And if my fun is just a little bit of a stylization of the original, then I'm going to have fun. So that's what this series is going to be guys. Just me having fun. Just talking. Just talking to you. Fuck, I'm drunk.